What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are starting a weekend reading vlog. It's most likely going to be just a weekend vlog with hopefully some reading done. Um, basically it's my birthday weekend. I am born August 1st which is on a Sunday. So I thought I would vlog this weekend. Um, I don't have anything really planned for my weekend, for my birthday. I'm, I'm kind of at the age where I don't really want to do anything for my birthday except stay in bed all day and cry kind of. I don't know, I'm not feeling it this year, but I still have a few things planned, so I just wanted to um, vlog it, I guess, and hopefully get some reading done. It is the last weekend of the month, um, because I haven't had the best of reading month in the month of July, which is fine. It's fine. Anyway, I just want to come on here and start this weekend reading vlog. Um, I will tell you what I'm reading right now. <coughs> Hold, please. I am reading two books at the moment. I am reading, I have it, the audiobook for Pen for Credence by Penelope Douglas. I'm like about halfway through. I think I have like four hours left to the audiobook. And this is a romance book, kind of a darker romance book. It's Reverse Harem. I think it's my first time reading a Reverse Harem. Uh, Penelope Douglas is the author of Birthday Girl, which I loved. And that was an age gap relationship. And I really like it. This one is, I think, a little bit too dark for me. It's a, bit, a little bit too intense. Maybe I'm just not used to. I love romance book, but I like like fluffy and fun romance book. I haven't read a ton of like dark romance book. So, um, but I will say Penelope Douglas has the most addicting writing style. Like even though I don't love the book, I just can't put it down. So I am enjoying it uh, still. Like I said, I have like four hours left. It's basically like eight hours, but I've been listening to it at like 1.8 speed on my audiobook. So I have about four hours left. I hopefully will be finishing this today uh, because uh, I can listen to an audiobook today while I work. The other book that I'm reading is um, How Cute Is This Book Sleeve. I got it for a submarine but it got late to me. So cute. And it like fits the biggest of books. And it is Malice by John Gwynn. Um, I've been reading this book for like weeks now and I'm only over 200 pages, a little bit over 200 pages. I'm not loving it. It's kind of boring so far. There's like nothing going on and I think the writing style is like almost too easy. Whereas the, the author is just basically letting us know what is happening. But we're not getting into any of these characters' mind and like emotion and feeling. So I have the hardest time connecting with, with any of these characters and there are so many characters as well i'm just not loving it as much as i wished i was um it's not a bad bad book by any means like it's really not a bad book i just think i don't know i'm not loving it so we'll see but it's not a dnf i do want to finish it and i told myself i would at least read the first two because people said that the first one was the weakest one but even having lowered my expectation this it's kind of a little bit of a disappointment. I've been watching a ton of Olympics. Have you guys been watching the Olympics this year? Uh, I've been watching a ton of it. So that's why I haven't been reading a lot. I got my shot uh, for the second dose of the vaccine. And I didn't expect it to like knock me off that much. I was pretty out. I was basically out of it for like a weekend. And then after that, I was just watching the Olympics. So I really haven't read a lot in the last week. So I need to get back into it. Um... Yeah, that was the longest intro ever, so I will let you guys go, and I will update you when I read a little bit or um, do something fun. So that's pretty much it. Bye. Whew. Hey guys, uh, it's around 1 o'clock right now. I'm in my lunch break, and I thought I would come on here and unbox my fairy loot, because I just received it like five seconds ago basically and I thought I would do the unboxing on this vlog instead of doing a separate video about it. I've done a few on my channel and they're not like my most popular video which is completely fine, I completely understand but I really like um, filming those so I thought I would just do it in this vlog instead of doing a dedicated video on this. I'm actually really excited about this, this one. I think I spoiled myself for the book, I'm not exactly sure. I think I saw a picture of it on Instagram but I'm not completely sure it's actually the book that's in this box. Um, this is the July box. I think the... <clears throat> I'm out of breath, I don't know why. Whew. I think the, um, uh, the, the theme was Tale Retold or like Tale... Yeah, something like that. Like basically like uh, retelling. So I'm really excited to see what's inside of it. I always am debating 
myself if, if I should cancel or not, but honestly, I really like receiving them, so um, I'll continue for a little while at least. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's open it up. Ooh, ooh, I see a lot of things. I don't see the spoiler card, so I'm gonna try to check inside of it without spoiling myself too much. I don't know why they do that. It's like in the bottom of the box. This is the spoiler card, and yes, I was right. It's called, it's Tailed Retold. Uh, so let's get started. Like I said, there's a bunch of things in there. First thing I see is this. It's kind of like a tin. Be glad of your human heart. Pity those who don't feel anything at all by Sarah J Mass. Oh! And then there's like, there's like a, a second lid and oh my god, how do I open this? I don't want to break it. We just had to include an item inspired by one of those, one of the most known YA retailing, A Court of Thorn and Roses. This is a gorgeous tin that was designed by Chadi Nora. Can you spot the wings? Um, I really like it, but I just can't open it. I guess you can put tea in this. It's really cute. It's really pretty. I just wish I could open it. Um, ooh, there's socks. Cinderella is dead sock, crew socks. I love socks in the book box because you can never get too many socks. And um, this is a book I haven't read, but I've heard a lot about it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Can you see the the actual, like, um, the blue dress? It's really pretty. I like these socks. These are really like long socks and not my favorite, but these are gonna get a lot of use out of for sure. I really like it. We hope you love these bookish socks. Designed by the amazing Katarina Book Designs. The design was inspired by Cinderella retailing called Cinderella is Dead. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, I really like these. They're really pretty. Next thing I see I'm very excited about and it's an umbrella. I guess it's like Caravel or maybe Heartless. Um, yeah, that makes more sense. But this umbrella, I should probably not open this inside because I think it's bad luck, but we'll do it anyways. How pretty is this? I love it. It's so cool. I really like it. And I feel like umbrellas, you can never get enough because they always break because of the wind or anything. Like even if you buy a really expensive umbrella, they, they just break on me all the time. So this is kind of fun. I am excited. I will use this for sure. Nobody can rain on your parade when you have a snazzy bookish umbrella. The design is brought to you by the by team Feylut and inspired by Alice Alice in Wonderland retelling Heartless by Mar Marissa Meyer. Carry it with you just in case of unexpected summer rain. This is actually really cool. I will for sure use this one and I like that it's pretty small and compact so it's gonna fit in pretty much almost any um, purse that I own so that's really cool next thing that I see is ooh, oh my god this is this is a book sleeve but this is like a different type of book sleeve this is so freaking cute is it the same design yeah I really like it. It's a different type of, like, this is like, it's not leather, obviously, but it's like fake leather. I really like it. Oh my god, there's a zipper on top of it. Ooh, the inside is so soft, but I, I lost the little thing to, like, pull the zipper. That's kind of annoying. We are happy to present to you your new book sleeve. We've improved it even further by using the same material we use on our pencil case, which you know and love. It featured artwork by none other than the amazing Rosie Thorne 88 and the piece featured the main characters from the Blood of Star duology by Elizabeth Lim. It's so pretty. I actually read the first one. I haven't read the second one. Oh yeah, she's um... I really like it. It's so pretty. And I'm not sure I love the texture, but it could be really nice, but the inside is so soft. I'm really happy about this. This is really fun. We have a um, foiled print. This beautiful foil print showcase artwork by the lovely Kaven Kaylee and features Maya from the Star Touch Queen series by Roshni Shoxi. I haven't read that one. I really like this. Um, print though. The art print, I really like it. It's really, really pretty. We do have the two tarot cards. Ooh, pretty. Wait, who are these? 
So we these are the two tarot cards. We every month we get tarot cards in these books, in these box, I mean, and these are this month. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Who are these? Oh, it's Caraval, that's what I thought. This month's collectible tarot cards are the Queen and King of Wands. They are designed by Morgana Anogram. I'm sorry. And are inspired by Caravel by Stephanie Garber. I loved I really liked Caravel. It wasn't my favorite book, but I really enjoyed it overall. I read all three of them. Um, I think like the setting of the book is like what made the book for me. It was really cool. I really liked it. And this is really pretty. I think the last thing that I have in here is going to the book. Let's take out everything else before yeah i mean okay so we have the uh bookmark which always matches the um the spoiler card we have the interview the letter from the author which i really think this is it okay so oh we have the fairy scoop which will go after and here is the book i don't know how it goes probably like this uh, oh my god Oh my god. Oh, it's upside down. Oh no, it is. <gasps> oh my god, this is... Okay. Oh my god, this is so freaking pretty. And I am so happy they um, they chose this book. My book is a little bit... It's fine, it's fine. Um, oh my god, this is so... F I'm so happy they chose to do this book because I actually wanted to pre-order it and I don't know why I never did. So I'm happy. I'm so happy they included this one in this month's fairy loot. It's Six Crimson Crane by Elizabeth Lim. Look at these like stencil splayed edges. Oh my god, this is so freaking pretty. Um, signed by the author. Oh my god, can you guys see? There's foiled on the book itself, which Fairloot does more and more each month. Honestly, like like I said, oh my god, this is so pretty. Like this is so freaking pretty. And then this is the inside. <laughs> this is the inside of the reverse dust jacket. This is why I never cancel my fairy loot because all of the bookish items are fun and they're cool and I like them, but I don't need them. I stay subscribed to fairy loot because they have some of the most amazing book edition, and this is why I stay subscribed to them. Honestly, um, I really wish fairy loot did a book only subscription. That would be great. I would for sure subscribe to that in a heartbeat. Our featured book of the month is Six Crimson Crane by Elizabeth Lim. The story drawn from the wild swan and East Asian folklore. This whimsical tale has a, prin this whimsical tale has a princess in exile, a shape-shifting dragon, six enchanted crane, and a curse that needs to be broken. I'm so happy right now. Okay, so let's go to, through the fairy scoop. We have the interview with the author right here. So, um, this book has exclusive covers, sprayed edges, signed by the author, artwork on the reverse dust jacket, and full embossing. And the read-along will start on August 30th, if you guys want to join. Um, and the next month's theme is going to be Love Struck. There's going to be two books in the uh, August book box. That's going to be fun. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, for this unboxing. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm making air fryer donuts. This is what it looks like. Guys, these are so freaking good. I'll leave the recipe down below. If you have an air fryer, I highly recommend these recipes. It's so freaking good and you cannot tell that they are they're not like actually fried. They're air fried. It's so good. This is my second time doing them. I highly recommend them. It's it's really freaking good. Um yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that. That's pretty much it. I'm still listening to um Ooh, that's not good. I'm still listening to Credence on the audiobook and um, this is getting weird and I'm not used to it. I do love romance book. I don't read a ton of dark romance and this is probably the um, darkest, steamiest book I have ever read and I'm not sure I'm loving it but I'm not hating it. I feel like I said that already but Penelope Douglas has some of the most addicting writing style ever you so even if i don't love the book i just want to keep reading i'm not sure how i'm gonna rate this book yet 
because like I said, it's super dark, it's super weird, it's a reverse harem, it's very steamy, and um, there's a lot of sex scene, which I'm not loving, but I just can't stop reading so far, or I can't stop listening so far, so it's kind of a weird thing, but um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come on here and show you my donuts and update you on my book. I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. Well, not really, it's almost noon. And um, I have not had the most productive morning today. I woke up around 9 and I pretty much did nothing. Um, I keep trying to reorganize my bookshelves. Um, ever since I took down my rainbow shelves, I don't know what I want to do with my shelves. And I don't like them, so I keep like trying a setup and then not liking it and then reorganizing my whole shelf. Um, I still don't like how it looks right now, so might do a second round, like I guess like a third round now of reorganizing my bookshelf. Anyway, um, I wanted to come on here because I ended up finishing um, Credence last night, Credence by Penelope Douglas, and I want to talk about it and give you my thoughts because I kind of have a lot of thoughts on this book. Um, I finished this last night and I was kind of sitting in my bed wondering how I wanted to rate that book. And I still don't really know how, I gave it three stars on Goodreads. But I still don't really know how I want to read it, honestly, because it, like, it's something, first of all. It's something. It's one of the most steamiest books I've ever read. It's one of the most dark moments I've ever read. Um, so there's that. And I think if it weren't for Penelope Douglas' writing style, I would have DNF'd it or really hated that book. But she has the most addicting writing style, like, Ever. I could not put this book down. I really wanted to finish it and know what was going to happen. So, um, because of her, I ended up in quite enjoying the book, I would say. Um, I don't think I enjoyed it, but I, I ended up finishing it. So, there was that, first of all. And um, I ended up reading it pretty quickly as well. It's a pretty big book. It's like over 500 pages for so far a romance book. It's a pretty big book. Um, but I didn't like it. I didn't love it. I just... it's a weird book. So it's the story about this girl who in the beginning of the book her parents dies. They commit suicide because I think her dad um, has cancer and they don't want to live without each other so they both commit suicide together and so she kind of feels abandoned by them, justifiably so, um, by both of them. And so she ends up... she's like 17 years old. So she ends up having to go live with her uncle, her step-uncle, so there's no incest going on and um, they're not blood-related family. He is her step-uncle, so her step... Um, her father's step-brother, basically. And he lives in this, like, reclusive cabin in the mountain that gets snowed in, like, five months a year or something, and he has two sons. And she ends up getting it on with all three of these guys, basically. <laughs> so it is a reverse ham. It's the first one I've ever read, um, and I don't think I love that, so there's that, first of all. And then um, I kind of knew from the beginning which one she was going to end up with, and I hated that character. <laughs> this is the spoiler, I guess. So I guess I'll just put like spoiler, it's kind of a spoilery discussion right now. Um, but yeah, I hated the guy she, really, she um, ends up with. Um, I really liked her with Jake, which is the dad, kind of gave me birthday girl vibe, which I really, really liked that book. So I really liked them together. I even liked Noah, <coughs> which is the uh, one of the sons. He was really sweet and really cute, and I liked them together. But she ends up with Jake, uh, with Caleb, which is like, <sighs> that was weird. He is the least developed character in the whole book, the least developed relationship in the whole book as well. He almost basically rapes her in the beginning of the book, like when they first meet, which I found really hard to read. I almost didn't have it at that point. Um, so definitely check out some trigger warnings for that book. It's not for everyone. It's really not. Um, and I do know Penelope Douglas have had a note at the end saying that this was like, this was the book that she wanted to um, where she wanted to push boundaries and she said that she didn't want to come out with books that all like were the same books and so she wanted to do something different which is definitely she definitely did um i just don't know if it's necessarily for me um because yeah i i just thought killer but was like 
I just really did not like his character and I just really like the man on most animal is not my thing but like I said she has the most addicting writing style ever so I cannot give this like two stars or one star because I didn't hate a book I wasn't like dragging through the book and like not enjoying myself but I wasn't loving myself while writing while reading the book if that makes any sense at all so yeah I ended up with a three star because kind of an average rating so I ended up giving it a three star on Goodreads so that's kind of my review on Credence by Pinocchio Douglas I'm still intrigued by Punk 57 by her which I think is like her second most popular book after Birthday Girl so I'm intrigued by that. And people, like, I watched a few um, romance booktubers online last night after finishing Credence and said that, like, Credence is her, like, darkest romance out there. It's the one that she gets. She really pushes boundaries with that one, which she really does. I would, like, it, yeah, at some point, I really didn't, didn't like it. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for my update for um, Credence. I'm leaving pretty soon for my parents' house. Um because it's my birthday dinner tonight. So that's pretty much it for my update and I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see your face. kind of evening it is officially my birthday today <laughs> i didn't vlog anything like yesterday or this morning because last night i went to my parents house for my like a dinner and then uh today we actually i went to a restaurant with my boyfriend for my birthday so we just got back and it's just like a really relaxing day today i'm not doing very much um like i said i didn't have any big plans for my birthday this year which is completely fine i don't really celebrate my birthday but I want to come on here and kind of um, end this vlog because it's the end of the weekend. And um, I did read a little bit of Malice yesterday uh, during my commute to my parents' house. And um, I mean, nothing has changed. I read a few pages. And it's good. It's not bad. It's not good. It's okay. Um, but I did read today. I ended up reading... I had read this, the first volume, earlier in the month of July, but I never read the second volume, I don't know why. Uh, and then I really wanted to read the second volume so I could include it in my July wrap-up. This is really freaking cute. I, this was a recommendation from um, Elsa over at the Friendship Book Dreamer. That was, this was a really cool concept for, like a hundred, for her hundreds of subscribers. She um, did like a manga recommendation for anyone who wanted it. And I, I'm not a biggest manga reader. So I asked for something like super cozy and like with some romance and like heartwarming and then so she recommended me this series and I've read it I've read the first two volumes and it's so freaking cute so basically this is this is about a girl named Teru Teru um, <clears throat> who is an orphan and she was living with her brother but her brother passed away um, a few years ago I don't really remember um, but before passing away, he gives her this phone, this cell phone with this like number with this person that we were going to call Daisy. Um, so that if she needs anything, if she ever finds herself, you know, needing something or needing help, uh, she can contact Daisy. And so she finds a lot of comfort in Daisy. They talk quite a bit um, and they, you know, he's like her older brother. He kind of replaced her older brother. And then um, she's in high school and one thing that leads to another, she has to work for the janitor um, and it's really cute. I really like it. So like I said, I read the first two volumes and I will continue on with the series. I don't know if I'm going to actually buy copies because I am on a book buying ban. Um, but I mean, I'm sure they're online. So that's what I did today and it was really cute and I'm really happy. I finally read the second volume and I will, like I said, for sure continue with the rest of this series because it's really freaking cute and I really like it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for um, this vlog. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and um, I hope you guys liked this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe. 
and uh, I will see you guys next time. So that's pretty much it. Bye!